Delaware, Maryland, and New York. Three people reportedly died in New Jersey. Meteorologist Kat Campbell joining us now in the WRAL Severe Weather Center. We had discussed at length about the potential for rip current mm -hmm. uh, risks over the weekend. We're also now focusing very heavily on this dangerous heat. People need to be aware of this as well. And you know, we're coming close to 100 degrees for these high temperatures. That's only happened two other times ever during the month of September in the triangle. So this is really some significant heat for us. And we do see 90 degree days in the triangle during the month of September. That's not unusual. We actually average four days with high temperatures in the 90s throughout the month. So far this year, we've had three in September. And of course, we're only a couple days into the month. We've got a ways to go. The normal last 90 degree day of the year is September 12th. So if you're a fan of fall, maybe you can hold on to that number there. That statistic to get you through the seven day because it is still looking hot and we are forecasting 100 for the high tomorrow. We're currently sitting at 96 degrees in Durham out at the DBAP, 96 in Raleigh, there at Dix Park and in Fayetteville, 97 degrees at this hour. A good day for ice cream after school to help the kids cool down today. 96 at 5 o'clock. Maybe they want to go after some homework. If you want to go after dinner tonight, temperatures should be in the mid to upper 80s. It's sunny. It's dry. It's really going to be beautiful this evening, especially as it starts to cool off closer to sunset. But tomorrow, the dangerous heat is back. 100 is our forecast high. The normal high this time of year is in the mid 80s. By Thursday and Friday, we are still going to be in the 90s for highs, but at least you can see the number are trending down again and that trend will continue into the weekend. High temperatures both Saturday and Sunday will be in the upper 80s, so still a little bit above normal for this time of year. I did want to mention if you've been sneezing a little bit, it could be because of the ragweed that we are seeing out there, so it's peak ragweed season. Just keep that in mind if you are sensitive to that kind of pollen. High pressure in control a little bit longer until our cold front arrives on Friday. I'll have more on that coming up in just a minute here. Let's take a look at future counts. Wednesday tomorrow that front still well to our north high pressure in control of our local weather. So things are quiet tomorrow. I don't think that we would see any rain Thursday. We do have a 20% chance of rain in the forecast. Can't rule it out, but I think better rain chances would be to our west closer to this front. The front gets here on Friday and that's going to spark some scattered showers and storms, especially into the afternoon and evening hours. This is still low resolution model data, so check in for an update tomorrow as the high resolution data becomes available. If you are trying to get outside and exercise in the morning, temperatures are going to be in the mid 70s. That's the time to do it. By lunchtime, we're already at 90 and staying in the low to mid 90s even toward dinner time tomorrow evening. A lot to watch in the tropics as well. We've got tropical depression number 13 a very healthy organized system and this one with a 70% chance of developing. Here's the latest on tropical depression number 13. A major hurricane should develop from it too early to rule out US impacts, though a direct head hit is not the most likely scenario. And we do have a new trend a little farther west of Bermuda, and I'll highlight that in the model comparisons coming up in the next half hour. Once we get through the heat during the week, we back off into the 80s for the weekend, but we could be right back into the 90s as we head into next week. It seems like we are going to have, you know, we had the slow start to summer this year in June. Looks like summer may just last a little longer this year. Ooh, going out with a bang, too. <laughs> Thank you, Kat. Well, first responders say the need is going up, but their pay is not. Still ahead, 